welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and this time around we are going to have a look at three different games again. As you can see I'm going to use a uh, ice pack in this case because it's very very hot outside and uh, otherwise my smartphone will have a problem for at least the last game. So we are going to cheat a little in this episode but doesn't matter. Um, in the end I have three games for you and uh, yeah, two of them are, are easily playable at any kind of temperature. One might be better suited for, I would say, the winter months or something, I'm not sure. But uh, just try it out if it's working for you, perfect. If it's not working for you, yeah, it's more or less what it is. Okay, so let's have a look at the different games we are going to play today. And it's going to be Pool Billiard Championship, Bubble Shooter Ball Bust and Survival Tear Drop. My name is Gerald. As always, I've got a couple of different things with me, which are, of course, a mouse, which is a Bluetooth mouse in this case, this one, uh, which is going to be connected with the smartphone. And there is going to be the foldable keyboard, which is this one. This is, of course, connectable to the smartphone too by Bluetooth. And in this episode, we are going to have a look at the Xbox One's wireless controller again. And there is one game, uh, Survival Teardrop in this case, which can be played with that, and so I'm going to show you that too. And yeah, other than that, of course, the main candidate to, to do everything here is the smartphone. It's a uh, Lumia 950XL. And um, it's of course a Windows 10 mobile smartphone with a also cover at the back here. It has a USB-C connector at the bottom, and we are going to use it to do Continuum, which is more or less that we are connecting it to a USB-C device or you could do it wireless uh, too if you wanted to. And uh, then that is going to be connected to the display port, uh, dock, sorry, display dock at this uh, point here, this little box. The display dock itself is connected by HDMI to the TV and like that we can play everything here. And, and of course, if you're going to do it wirelessly, you don't need the display dock in this case, but you would need something like a display adapter or your, your uh, TV has to have something like Miracast pre-installed on it. Um, yeah, if you want to know more about all this and what we're going to do here and why this is happening, so for instance, why this is a desktop-like experience, which is created by the smartphone, you might want to have a look at one of the other videos I'm going to show you up there in the info box because there are a couple of different more in-depth informations about that. So, and let's start with the first game. The first game is Pool Billiard Championship and it, it's exactly what you are, uh, what uh, think this is. It's a pool billiard game. Um, good thing about it is it has more or less levels you can play which is nice and can be used uh, as a single player game and um, so you are really able to play levels of billiard more or less. So if you are into billiard or pool or whatever you want to call that, um, you are going to uh, love this game probably because it's really a nice one. It's not too hard to play, not too easy to play neither. And um, in the end, I really like the game. And as you can see, we already started it now. We have different kind of options here. So multiplayer is available if you want to, but in general, you would go to stage and try that or do the practice one. Um, there is a queue shop too, so you could have a look at different kinds of queues. Um, actually, I don't know what that is all about. I think it's just the, the different uh, skins and stuff like that, so you're not going to gain much from it, I'm not sure. Um, other than, of course, uh, the design of the queue. But uh, just have a look at that if you want to. So just use your mouse, for instance, and click on it. And as you can see, we have a couple of different uh, queues we can buy here for a couple of bucks you are going to get in-game in this case. Um, yeah, other than that, let's go out again of the shop and let's have a look at the stage part as you can see, we have a couple of different levels here, so many of them, if you ask me. You can really play a long time, as you can see. Um, I'm going to go back to the first ones, of course, but if you really like this uh, game, you are very well planted, more or less. As you can see, I already played the first two. They are really, really simple, so I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to go to the third one now, 
And as you can see, you get a couple of different information, or better to say a task up here, which in this case says, um, please try to get all the, the colored uh, balls in. And if you got that, then you win the game. I'm not sure if you are allowed to play, uh, play the, the eight ball before everybody, everything else is already in one of the holes. I think you shouldn't do it, but whatever you want to try there. I'm going to turn around to show you how to play this game now. So, first off, uh, just use your mouse, or your finger in this case, of course, and then just click somewhere. And as you can see, by now holding the mouse button, and just dra and drag and dropping it, or better to say dragging it around, you are going to be able to do that. And as you can see, you should not use or play the 8 ball in this case, because otherwise you're probably going to lose. So let's start with the 4 in this case. And of course, as you can see, as I'm moving the mouse around, it's going to get a little bit of an information where the ball will go and what will happen, for instance, to the other ball I'm going to hit here. I'm going to play the two, why not? And now, to play the ball, you have to drag more or less this one down, which will give you an indication on how hard you are going to play this. And um, we don't need much of power or something here, so give it a little bit of a shot. Um, good thing about that, hopefully that is not bad for me. It's pretty bad for me. I'm not sure if I can play this now. Let's see. Yeah, I can try to go out like this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to hit the ball there. Yeah, not, not going to happen. It's probably a foul now, which is... I should have played a little bit harder, but still I don't know if it would have gotten the four in, I don't think so. So as you can see, this was a foul. I have five of them in this level. So everything is fine here, but you are going to lose, of course, uh, uh, the three stars uh, part in the end. So let's see that we are going to get this one in. Not too hard, we don't need that. And uh, other than, uh, after that, of course, the three. So let's do that again. And we are going to try to get it in. This should do it. And we should have a look that we can place uh, the white ball in the right direction so that we are going to be able to play it in an easy way. I'm not giving it too much of a shot and as you can see, should be fine-ish, come on. Yeah, should work. Um, not the perfect ball here, but still should work. And so we are going to give that another hit. Pretty hard one, I would say. And now, as you can see, we more or less got the stage three cleared in this case. And so you're going to play. As you can see, there are a couple of different other options. For instance, you can use this one to fine uh, tune more or less where you are going to play. So if you are not uh, able to do it by hand more or less, so uh, you can use that that wheel there to do it. That would have been some kind of a commercial, but the good thing is it got away, which is nice for us. And again, we should put in all the different colored um, parts. So let's see what we can do here. As you can see, this is finer. So if you really need to, to make it a really good shot for some reason, then this might be a good thing to do. And of course you can place, for instance, where you want to hit the ball with your cue. So for instance, if you're going to hit it at the bottom or something, it's going to jump over stuff. Um, if you are going to use, for instance, I don't know, to, or to, to select it or pu push it more or less at this point, then it might get some kind of a drill to it and stuff like that. So it's pretty realistically, and I really, really like the game itself. If you really like pool, this is fun to play, it's easy enough and it really helps you. And um, of course, uh, it taught me to put in all the different colored ones, so not the half ones, so be careful about that. This is one of the first missions where you will have to worry about that. So let's see what we can do here. Probably something like this should do. Give it a 
little bit of a kick, not too much, fine. And now we are probably going to have to put in the 8. As you can see, the 2 has been put in, should probably vanish, yeah, there we go. And now we have the 8 to be played and pushed into the hole here. Okay, works. And like this, you're going to play all the different levels here, and there are a lot of them, as you already know uh, or have seen. And this is a really nice thing. If you click here, for instance, you can go to the, at least after this has played. Uh, I should rate the game. I'm not going to do that at the moment. As you can see, we got full uh, stars here and got a little bit of money too. So as you can see, we can play the next one now too. And here we would have a, okay, some kind of an advertisement. You have to uh, cope with that. That's just how it's uh, uh, done here. Um, good thing about it is that we can get rid of it, if we are careful at least. And now, as you can see, if I click on that button there, I'm going to go to the shop again and can buy something, for instance. If I want to, the maple one or something should already be possible to be played. I think, as you can see, you get a little bit of, of power-up uh, guide for some reason. Spin and reward with those. Um, the first ones are all the same. Let's see if we get something somewhere that is a little bit better here. Yeah. For instance, if you have 30,000 points or coins in this case, you are going to, to update everything uh, to one better step there. Um, I'm as mentioned before, not sure if you really need it. You can play it in a nice way, I would say, without that. And this is good because otherwise you are you have something like a pay-to-win stuff or so. So this is not a pay-to-win title. I really like it. And I would say try it out if you like billiard or pool games. Okay, so let's have a look at the second game. The second game is called Bubble Shooter Ball and Bust. And uh, yeah, it's a bubble shooter. Uh, you already know about those, but I really like it. It has a nice little theme to it. If you like those games, it's really not the worst thing. Um, I'm going to click on the all apps list here. Going to go down here. And we are going to have a look at bubble shooter ball dust. Um, as mentioned before, it has a little bit, uh, bit of a theme. It's a pretty nice one, if you ask me, I really yeah, I think it's it's looking nice, as you can see, like this. It's a colored one, of course, and um, not too retro, but, but nice in itself. And uh, as you can see, there are little enemy ca characters, more or less, and you really can play them pretty nicely. As you can see, it's more or less a uh, bubble shooter game, so you should be aware, aware of how to play it. It has those uh, bubbles here. You have to put them to other bubbles from the same color type. And if you do that, then all the bubbles that are connected to that will more or less burst, or yeah, it's called bust. And so uh, burst, and uh, you get all the money, and you all uh, you only have a couple of seconds to do that in the different uh, parts. If you want to switch those over, that's fine too. And then just click somewhere and shoot the ball, and in the end, they're going to vanish them and you got the points for it. Okay, that wasn't the greatest shot I got, but whatever. And yeah, as you can see, this game tends to give you parts that are really not that helpful for you, in many cases at least. And I think we have a pretty bad start here in this case, because I really can't get this to do. Okay, so we have to go through the advertisement. More or less, if you are going to die in this game, you're going to have to watch an advertisement. I like it somehow, um, that it's more or less done like this. Um, bad thing about it, you can't really skip it or something, so just try to stand through it and try to play the game afterwards. Yeah, other than that, of course, you're going to have a lot of different colors here, so you're not going to have three or five, uh, four colors uh, like I already got from other games, but really, really many more. Or less. Okay. 
wheat stand in this case. And I'm going to try to do it a little bit faster now. Um, good thing about it, as you can see, we got a, a couple of different colors here. And the yeah, nice thing about it is that you can more or less get rid of all of those connected. So if, for instance, uh, I would get the yellow ones, the blue one and everything that is connected down below here would go away too. And this is, of course, a great thing because otherwise you are probably not going to get all the different colors um, here as well as for instance this dark one I'm not sure what color it is but dark blue or grayish whatever and of course you can get for instance a connection there and that will help you too and yeah I would say it's more or less a typical game for a genre I really like it and if you want to play some kind of a bubble shooter game, this might be a good one. You got a lot of different um, levels here too, and they're going to not let me win this. Okay, um, in the end, it's a really nice one. Try it out if you like it. And in general, it's somewhere on the more harder side of bubble shooter games. So if you like these kind of games, this might be a good one for you to challenge you. And yeah, other than that, I would say let's and go to the last game in this episode. The last game is called um, T uh, Survival Teardrop so, or Break Tear Download, whatever. Um, in the end, there are a couple of different, uh, different names for it. But the nice thing about this is it's more or less something like a um, different approach to, for instance, Minecraft or something. You are able to play this with the Xbox One as wireless controller or any other kind of gamepad. Um, I had to start the gamepad when the game was already running, so just try to do that too. And I'm going to turn around and show you what's going on here. The bad thing, as mentioned before, is it's pretty heavy on your CPU or on your smartphone. So you, you are not going to get the best uh, FPS parts in this, but in the end it's playable, especially if you're going to play it on a computer or something, you're not going to have any kind of problems. The, let's say, worst thing about it is, come on, please connect. It takes a little bit of time sometimes. Hopefully I'm not going to have to go to the settings and reconnect that might be necessary in some cases too like for instance now doesn't seem to uh, to connect to the uh, to the game here or better to say to the smartphone itself so let's go to the bluetooth uh, part there give it a couple of seconds and then we are going to have a look here Yeah, there's nothing more or less that I could put in. So give me one sec. I'm going to have a look. There we go. And reconnect it here. Takes a little bit of time, but after that it should be fine. Sometimes, in some cases, for some reason it's all, always a little bit different from before for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yes, we want that. And now it's connected. There we go. Um, now let's go out here, go back to our game. Hopefully it's going to already see my controller. And there you go, you can see I can run around. But as you can see, the FPS isn't great. We are really in a little bit of a slow situation here. Other than that, it's really a nice game, but especially if you're running through grass and there are a lot of different uh, different animals and stuff like that around, it might be a little bit annoying. Um, the bad thing about it is there is nothing I can do about that. So there are no kind of settings or something where I could, for instance, get rid of more of the shadows or, for instance, the grass or something. 
um, which might already be enough to uh, get the speed up, but whatever. Um, as you can see, this is a more or less a survival game, so you will have to run around, collect stuff, for instance, like here, this part. By pressing A, you're going to collect it, and it's going to be in your inventory, which is down below here. And of course, we can do that with a couple of other things too, for instance, by getting those stuff. We can't see that at the moment, so let's see if I can collect those. Yeah, as you can see, there's nothing I can collect at the moment, so he's not going to. But this, for instance, is wood, so let's take the wood up, and I'm going to run around a little and have a look. Just to let you see how this game is looking, I really like the, this kind of, of um, optics. It's of course this uh, very polygon uh, happy one, or low polygon better to say. And uh, as you can see, there are a couple of different animals running around. Uh, there are a couple of different options which or objects which can be put up. For instance, again, here we got... Come on. There we go. We got uh, more wood and everything is put down below here. And if you have enough stuff, you can click on this or there is... I think it's a... It's a... Um, menu button here, I'm not sure about that at the moment. But as you can see, you can, for instance, try to create stuff for you. For instance, let's see if we can do that. I'm not sure if we got wood already. No, we don't have that. So we will have to run around and search for wood. And not wood, sorry. I am talking about stone in this case, or block in this case. Um, here I think this might be a carrot. I'm not really sure. Okay, and now for some reason I'm allowed to create this. Is it like this? No. Sorry. No, no, no. Can't do that at the moment. So we are going to click on that again just to get that away. And let's see, here we got something. I'm not sure what it is I collected there. Herbs. So, okay, it's herbs. And uh, in the end, now you are running around and searching, for instance, there is stone or block. Not as blocky as Minecraft, for instance, as you can already see here, but we connected that too, and now we should be able to create one of the tools here, for instance, an axe to chop wood. Okay, so we got that. And if you now want to use it, let's click That one. And uh, the good thing about it is, as you can see, there are a couple of different other stuff too. So baseball bat, for instance, as a weapon, if you need that. You can get food, of course, with fire or raw or corn or whatever you want to do here. So there are a couple of different options, like the constructions here. So if you want to, for instance, live in more or less the uh, day is going to end in a couple of hours, so it's it's 1400 here. And um, yeah, like this you can for instance uh, produce everything you need for staying alive, because it's of course a survival one. And um, yeah, if you like Minecraft or something, this game is a nice addition for you. It's a little bit different than Minecraft, but I like the optics of it, it's really a nice one. Is this something I could, can collect? Let's see. Come. No, it doesn't seem to be collectible. Not sure what it is. <laughs> Hopefully not something uh, animal got there. But as you can see, we can run around here. There's a bear, some, uh, for instance. So be careful. Some of them are aggressive, others are not. And you really shouldn't try to cope with a beer or a bear in this kind of case because at the moment you really don't have any kind of option to kill a bear. So just run around and search for the other one and be careful he is going to charge 
after me as it seems. But I seem to be a little bit faster, which is pretty unrealistically if you ask me, because it's a bear. A bear can really run very, very fast. Let's see if I can outrun him here. I'm really not sure if I'm able to, but he just stopped and that should be fine. Okay, so let's have a look at we can get some of the berries here. So we got a little bit of food. Let's see if we can do that here too. And let's collect it here too, just to get a little bit of food. So we are maybe surviving the first night, I'm not sure. As you can see, you have a couple of different resources here. So for instance, uh, if you are running around, you got the health, of course, so the heart is a health. You got how good you are feeling more or less, which is very important for you, it has to do with stamina and stuff like that. Eating, so do you have enough food to eat and, and can you eat it more or less? And you got, of course, water as a resource. Water is, for instance, up there. So we go to the little lake that you can see there. And of course, there is, for instance, a carrot we can carry on to. So let's get that. Come on. There we go. Got it. And now we can have a look at the water part here. There it is. We can drink it. And we got 100% of water now. So just be aware that you have to go to those kind of places sometimes. And it's already 18 o'clock, or better to say 6 p.m. And that is a little bit unfortunate because we didn't build anything till now. Doesn't really matter, you can survive one or two nights without it. But after a while you really should get some kind of a hat or, or a hut or um, yeah, some kind of a house here. So let's see if we can construct something already. We need rope, which we don't have for that. No shelter at the moment. A wood deck needs to be built before we can do that. And that is something we can't build, but there are the missing wood parts. So let's start with that. Just to show you that something has been, come on. Yeah, I know. Just collect it, please. Do that. And a second one, too. Now we have enough to build our first, let's say building, it's not really a building, but let's try that first. So get this one and craft it, because we need four um, parts here. And as you can see now, we can now move around to place it somewhere. I'm just going to place it here, it doesn't really matter. And we got our first part. Okay, next part would be, of course, something like a house, a hat or whatever. Problem about that, we need eight more wood and we're not going to get that in this night, probably. But it's a start and so you are going to have to run around, collect all the different options here. There's for instance a mushroom, which is of course possible too. And um, later on you can try to hunt for instance these rabbits and get, oh, let's see, here is corn for instance, nice too to have that. Take it with me. And we are going to get that too. Okay, grass is of course nice too. Let's get that. Let's collect everything that I just chopped off here. I'm pretty sure we need that for rope or something, so if we want to do that, we can get it here. Come on. Take out the, the carrot, please. Okay, no, he is aggressive. He wants to put everything down there. What's this? I'm not sure about that. Let's see. Wheat seed. Okay, so that are seeds that we can plant later on. There's another mushroom. I'm not going to collect that one. 
and let's see if we can find more wood because I would like to place a house there. As mentioned before, we don't need it at the moment, but he's not too happy at the moment, so we probably need some sleep or something. There we got a little bit more of wood. So get that one. Of course you can, for instance, try to create a axe and get rid of that one. I just collected that, okay. Let's see if we can use this. Okay, equip it. Now, as you can see, we are carrying around this axe and we might be able... Yeah, that's nice, but I want to chop off one of the trees here, if that's possible, please. Mm -hmm. And now that one, please. Yeah, okay, so press X for that. And now we are going to try to chop off this uh, tree in this case, just to get more wood from it. And there we got it. And now we can just collect it again by pressing on the A button in this case. And yeah, that's going to help us a lot because we can now build, for instance, uh, the the house. I'm going to build that and then I think this is more than enough to show you in this game. But I really like the game and how it's played and stuff like that. So next day has already started in this case. Good for us. And now one more tree and we should be fine in this case. So let's see if we can, for instance, get that one too. And my little fellow here really needs some kind of fun or better to say well, well being or well uh, feeling more or less. So he is a little bit less stressed out as it looks like. And the good thing is we now got enough it's 10 now, 10 wood we got, and that should be enough to build our house up here. Okay, and to do that, we will have to go to the construction part again. And now we can go to the hut part and get, of course, this part. We got, oh, got the wood deck and we got the wood. So let's see what's happening here. Of course, we will have to place it in a good position, which is a little bit hard to do. <laughs> okay. Trying to get it to the right position there. That doesn't make any sense. So like this, for instance. And he's going to build it now on our wood plant. And there we got it. Our first little shelter with our little house there. And I think this is more or less what we wanted to do here. So let's go in there. Um, if you want to see something differently, in one sec, you can, for instance, press uh, the rear buttons here and then the camera is turning around, so you should be able to see more. So let's try to get, go in our house now. Can I use it, please? Thank you. Go in. Hmm. Seems like I can't use it for what? Did I build it then? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, in the end, you can see you can build different things here now. Then you can try to 
use them in any kind of way. There are a lot of different tools you can create and there are of course shelter and stuff that is going to help you to provide everything that is needed to survive, which is of course what you want here. And then I would say just try it out. I really like the game. It's a fine one. It has a little bit of trouble with the, with the FPS, but if you are, can live with that, it's a nice one. So, and that more or less ends the episode. So just try it out if you like one of the games. Hope you liked the game. Give it a thumbs up, of course, if you liked it. And of course, if you have any kind of commentaries, questions, whatever, put them down below into the commentary section. And as I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, we will see us in the next episode. Probably, yeah, next, next week I'm going to have one. Um, it might be that there will not be one in the week after that. We will see if I can go through with it. We will see. Um, problem about that is that I'm going to go and have a vacation week. But other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great time. Have a great day. Thanks for listening and bye. Bye.